Well, good day, engineers and conductors, whatever you wish. Uh, this is Train Sim World again. I know we played last week, but I kind of enjoyed last week, and I figured we'd uh, try this week again, try to get a bit more of this figured out. So we're going to look into a scenario. I kind of already had picked one out. Uh, this one here is uh, Unit Coal Train has come out of the snow loading facility uh, on the Salisbury branch of the the crew has reported that uh, one of their motors or engines, I guess, is not developing full power. Uh, we have to take our locomotives over to Salisbury Junction and meet the train in the loop while the other crew assists. While the other crew assists the descent, it's time to shine as you lead the train down the grade. Okay, so uh, let's start that. And uh, we'll get going here. I don't think I've done this one before, but uh, give her a shot here. Two engines. A unit coal train came out of Shaw loading facility with a traction problem. They want the additional motors we brought up the sand badge to help them get the train to Cumberland where the locomotives can be swapped out. Okay. Stop. Observe ground conditions before dismounting. Reporting is X570. We'll take the locomotives over to Salisbury Junction and couple up to B251. Let's climb aboard and get going. All right. Set up the locomotive. So. Set the reverser to. Oh no. Let's set the reverser to backwards. This is X570 requesting a track warrant from Sandpatch to Salisbury Junction. Over. X570, subject to signal indications. Proceed from Sandpatch to Salisbury Junction. Over. X570, subject to signal indications. Proceeding from Sandpatch to Salisbury. Out. All right, release the brakes, increase the throttle. Uh, brakes all off and dumped out. Okay. Try to observe any lights or... Um, signal lights and you know stuff where we have to stop speed limits too we'll try to remember to observe must be going uphill or something yeah 1.2 percent grade which isn't much but it's enough to start slowing your train down pretty quick The yellow means proceed with caution, I believe, although I see three red lights up here. Uh, I better slow down maybe a bit. don't understand why it's a red thing here like I know it's a speed increase thing I think that is or something but like why is it red that's really confusing I think <laughs> that sounds funny So I don't think it's super too like like okay so we see the 1.948 kilometers and then 2.7 that's a red stop for darn sure I'm not sure what the star thing really means here that's just like another 
checkpoint thing, I guess. I don't know, was I supposed to stop there? Like, it's still there. I don't understand. I don't get it. Stop at Sand Patch Crossovers, which I presume is up here. I'm not sure what those things are for. I, I don't know. I should probably do some research on that, I guess. That's a speed reduction, I think, coming up here. That is one long tunnel. Must have been a huge mountain. Okay, so I believe that is definitely a stop coming up here. So we'll just coast a little bit. Hopefully I didn't mess something up because I still see that thing. I'm getting further away from it, so um, maybe I was supposed to stop at that too and get like a proceed ahead kind of thing permission again or something. I don't know. It hasn't chopped me off here yet, so. that sign. Stop. This will definitely have to get us permission. I think I was supposed to stop back there. Yeah. Okay, that didn't work. Let's see. Load last checkpoint. Let's see where it loads. Shit. I don't know where the last checkpoint will be. Uh, right here, <laughs> I guess. Start this over again. X570, subject to signal indications proceeding from Sand Patch to Salisbury. Out. Okay, let's stop at that thing now this time and see what that does. Sorry to have to run through it again here, but something, something wasn't right there. Oh, what the heck? 
key was it? Okay, stop. Ready to depart. Stop it beyond the sand patch crossovers. Well, I don't really know where that is, so that doesn't help me a whole lot. <laughs> I mean, we've got a map here, but it doesn't really it doesn't tell you anything. Any location, so I don't know. We'll try stopping at this thing up here. I think that is a thing where I have to ask for permission, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't kind of really played this game a whole lot to, to learn everything yet. The uh, tutorials don't even go through this kind of stuff for you, you know? Like this thing here. Do I stop here and ask for permission? Or, you know, what? what is it? So... See what we can do here. Why it wants me to stop there? Head towards Salisbury. Okay. Was that a... Oh, I see. It was to switch the tracks. See, now they're automatically switching tracks for us now. That gets confusing when I usually have to switch the stuff. So we should go off to the track on the right here now, I would think. So what's going to happen? Yep. It doesn't tell me that, though. Like, in, in here... Stop at location beyond sand patch crossovers. But it didn't say anything about it's going <laughs> to... You know, it's, it's kind of not too descriptive of what's going on here. You're going to have to kind of guess, I guess. So we're actually going back the other way now. Okay, so... And then I guess we have to go way up to here would be our next stop. Shouldn't take too long to whip up there, I wouldn't think. We're going down a half a percent grade right now, so... Thought we might have gained a bit of speed just, just uh, cruising here, but we're losing a bit of speed. Smack the bridge. So this mission might take a little bit. So we got to get back to the other train now, and then uh, 
hook up and help them take it down the hill. I don't know which way that is yet, but... Now, we could, like, you know, juice her and get there a lot faster. Eight and a half kilometers we gotta go here, so... caution coming up here too so I'm sure if I juiced her and got her going like 110 we'd get there pretty darn quick I don't think it would derail but uh, you never know you'll get probably penalized for uh, speeding right so uh, we'll just enjoy the scenery going past maybe could uh, throw down the wrong one to go out here for a minute. That's kind of crazy, eh? <laughs> Yeehaw! Hopefully I don't have to stop. I think that's pretty cool that you can do that. You can go right outside. No horn. Set, release, and break. Oh, cool. I thought it would actually stop us. I guess that's what. I guess it would. Can't tell what speed we're going, so we might be speeding here. I don't know. What are we? What are we doing? Thirty-eight. Oh yeah, we're speeding a little bit. that door. A little quieter. Thirty eight mile an hour. Probably do a bit of dynamic braking here. Dynamic braking reverses polarity in the uh, engines, the electric engines that actually drive the wheels, and um, creates basically a generator. Starts slowing you down. Oh, that's slowing down pretty quick. Sweet, that worked pretty good. If you can get that right spot, you know, the dynamic brakes are good too for um, not wearing out your brake pads and your, you know, your wheels and stuff for braking. If you're going down the hill and you just leave the brakes on the whole way down, it wouldn't be long until you burnt all your pads off, so... Dynamic brakes are pretty helpful. Well, that's just a caution, that's okay. How many we got left now? 5.4. A little bit, eh? Too bad. It's knocking off pretty quick, though. Okay, we got to get all up to here. Huh, actually. What's that? Hmm. I guess I have to stop there, but... Oh, yeah, there's the train there. I see it. That's the train there. Ooh, it's up. Big long one, or it could be this other one here too. I guess I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Well, let's speed a little bit here. Try to get there a little quicker. I know I don't want to take your guys' time up too much here, so 
It's a time crunch thing, right? Ooh, now we're speeding. We're only at rung six, too. Ooh, Lee. It's about 88 in that uh, rung six. Rung seven should get us about 100, maybe. A little more than 100. level off at 100 here at rung 7. And rung 8 should be about 110. I think maybe 108. Now we're flying. Yeah, now we're moving. She's clicking down pretty quick here, so we better get back into position. That, uh going pretty quick with no weight on the back of the train. No no cars, no load. Oh, that's a cool bridge. Sweet. Two kilometers. We're getting there. Getting there a little faster now. Some more dynamic brake here. Put it on about uh, maybe four and see what happens. Oh, yeah, we're coming in here pretty quick. Let's maybe juice her a little more here. Yeah, now she's going down. Ooh, that really slowed her down fast. Wow, we. We jam her up to notch eight on that dynamic brake. Wow, we just. <laughs> That's almost too much. Now we're coming in here anyway, so we'll have to uh, figure out what they want us to do here. Probably stop at location just beyond Salisbury Junction. Okay. Some very nice scenery. We've got some, some wind generator, wind tower generator things up here. That's kind of cool. They're not spinning though. All turned off.
That is definitely a stop. Now, try to stop as close as we can. Uh, not close enough. Now we probably have to wait for a clearance tab. Proceed at restricted speed. You guys saw that, and I still got a red, so. to formation. I got those brakes right off, right? Oh, I see the coal cars up straight ahead there. Okay. Imagine we have to go straight ahead. Never slow up a bit more, though. Crash into things that fast. Ooh, that'd be bad. Sweet. He's going to make me go all the way to the front, isn't he? Set auto brake handle off. Where's off? Handle off. Cut out valve. Trail six. Okay, I'm not getting that. Wee. Switch off system, switch off the en engine run generator field and fuel pump. Headlight control. Set headlights to be controlled from other unit. Switch off radio fuse. Change caps, change caps in order to head back to the Cumberland Terminal. What? Oh. <laughs> I thought there was something still in the box. Oh 
man, I can't get in that side. Darn it, forgot. Oh, hello. All right. Sit. Switch on the radio fuse. Now I got to get up again. Set the headlights to control from the long hood end. Switch on systems. Engine run, generator field, fuel pump. Fuel pump. That's where car lights in the locomotive. Right. Set them to lead. Oh, this is the like button way down here again. The heck, why am I stuck? Okay, for some reason I got stuck there. I don't know why. Okay. To there sure is a lot of things you got to do just to drive this train. Okay. So cut up switch to freight. Let's close this door here. Freight. Fly in the printer brake to at least 30%. That outer brake to release. So reverse her to forwards. This is B251 requesting a track warrant from Salisbury Junction to Cumberland. Over. B251, subject to signal indications, proceeding from Salisbury Junction as far as Sandpatch. Out. This thing's leaking air weird again. Remember last week it was doing that? At least the brakes increase the throttle, but it said to wait. It said to wait for an eastbound train, did it not? Guy's still going. Don't th think it was him we had to wait on. Don't see any other trains, but okay. I don't like that this is still red here. It's making me kind of curious. So we're going to maybe stop here.
I don't know why my thing's all messing up, though, but that's kind of acting weird. Us and it says, oh no, signal passed, you're, you know. Something seems weird with it. Well, <laughs> well, I guess all I can do if I tried to do that, and I still got, I guess I got a, a yellow there now. Oh yeah, we're good now, okay. Okay, everything's released. We'll just start off slow. train. Holy cow, no wonder they needed help getting up the hill here. My goodness. Holy cow. That's a lot of coal. <laughs> Alright, better get her get her rolling here. Get too much more hill, and I can't make her up the grade. I don't have any momentum going. Now it also said subject to signal things or something. I see a red coming up here, three kilometers. So, better keep an eye out for that. Actually pulling it pretty darn good. That's quite a quite a load it's pulling there, you know. I love standing up here and watching the train zip past. I think there's a train coming. Oh, there is too. Oh, it's got a red light going. That's weird. Cool. Yeah, 1.9 kilometers. We have a stop. It's kind of good that I guess that they give you those little balloon thingies because, you know, I probably would just go right past it and not even look at the light. There was a red light.
don't know what happened if I went and turned this train off, this engine that I'm in. Let the other ones push. I don't know what would probably slow me down a lot. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. So we got a stop coming, but we're actually going upgrade here now. the guy coming that way. Oh, he's got the auto cars on there. The automobiles. Got a yellow up here now. Which is good, but I think this guy might be had to clear my track. Just don't want to be crashing into him. Not too sure where that other train went though with coal or uh, oil cars. Too positive where he ended up. He must be ahead of me still. Let's put her to rung eight. See what happens here. Building up a tremendous amount of speed. So, somewhere that guy that was ahead of us, I don't, oh, there he is. So he's just sent to that bend, and we're, oh yeah, we've got quite a bit of distance between us. Should be all right. That's as far as we got to go, I guess, so. So we're doing pretty good, but it's funny that my uh, destination is not counting down. It's still nine kilometers. It's kind of weird. Stop coming up.
kind of like outside better. Oh, got to stop coming up. Sure, now we got to clear. Oh, now our thing's down to 3.4. It was 9. What the heck? That's kind of weird. signal free now until we get there. It's not too much further, so then we'll have to find where we gotta stop. Well there's just a stop there. This game too, I don't know if there's other scenarios and stuff that you can download or DLC stuff um, for it, but um, the game itself doesn't seem to be a whole lot of stuff to do in it, like mission-wise. There's no free mode either, which I thought was sort of kind of weird. You know, just hook up a bunch of cars and do whatever and then, you know, kind of take off with them, but they don't seem to do that really in this. It's all mission-based stuff. Problem taking this train up. Seems to be cruising along quite nicely right there. So that 1.9, I presume, will be our switch and then. 2.4, 2.5, there will be our actual stop, where we stop on whatever track that is. Oh, sorry, no whistle. Oh, construction closed anyways.
it's funny, these missions, I don't think they take as long as they do, but after you've played for a while, it's like, oh wow, we've been playing for quite a while here, so today we're probably just going to do this mission. And that'll be, that'll be it for today. They seem to stretch on longer than you think they would. I mean, I could have sped and, you know, got this down here a lot faster, but we also might have hit the back of that other train. Coming up. We could use our upgrade here to uh, help slow us up pretty good, too, probably. Use the hill as a brake. Whoa, what the heck was that? That was weird. Something went all buggy there. Bridge. Stop on this guy here. Oh, geez, we're getting pushed, we're getting pushed, we're getting pushed, we're getting pushed. This is B251 requesting a track board from Sandpatch to come. Ooh, that was scary. You know what that was? I used the independent brake, which is just the train engines, and the cars started pushing on me. Subject to signal indications proceeding from Sand Patch to Cumberland. Out. There's wheel slip right there. See how it slowed down there for a second? That was cool. We took off and then she started spinning. Uh, the engines get so much torque in them and they just start spinning the, the wheels on the tracks. Oh my goodness, I have to go another 24 kilometers yet? Holy crap. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought this was like our stop here. Holy jumping. I don't know if I'm going to get all this finished today. 24 kilometers. Holy crap. Uh, that 9 kilometers was, was quite a piece. Now we got to go way the heck down here. Oh, I don't even know if that's the final destination either. That might not be. Couldn't be too much further, so. Wow, I, I, I'm not sure if I want to do all this today or not. We've already kind of spent enough time. That's what I say in earlier there, you know, like, the missions end up being a lot longer than you realize. Man, I don't mind playing it, but man, it's going to take up a good chunk of your guys' day, so. I don't know if I could. I could probably save. Yeah, I can save that mission. 
I just don't know how to restart it again. I think we'll find somewhere to stop down here a little more. And we'll continue with it another day. If I can figure out how to reload it. Here's this stuff. This huge tunnel. I have to cut through the bush. Oh, that's kind of cool, eh? You don't really see that. Huh. <laughs> I don't even know where the track is now. I'm probably nowhere near it. Oh, it's good we got another... Where the heck is the track now? Uh-oh. It's got to come out here somewhere. There it is. Woo! Oh, well, you can see the other end there. Can't hear my train, though. We're speeding, though. Ooh, we're speeding. Oh, here he comes. I just see it flashing up there. It's going to be on that track, so I better get over. You'd think you'd see the lights by now, but... That was pretty cool. Still 24 kilometers. That doesn't count down for some weird reason. So it might be around the 18 mark by now. I don't know. It's kind of speeding here. So I just want to make sure that I'm not catching that other guy. Where did he end up? He's probably off the map now. They, yeah. He couldn't have got that much further ahead of me. off the map, I guess. Let's put it on the carpet and knock these kilometers off here. I would have played it more realistically like, but holy cow, I didn't realize I had another 24 kilometers after that to go too, so now we're getting silly. The thing is, I got some bends coming up here, too. It might not be sort of too good in these. I don't know. She, she might be a little fast for these corners. We'll have to maybe wait until we get out of these corners to, to juice her again. Slow her up a little bit, maybe. Here. Never mind, I'm still gaining speed. independent brake. She's not. She's gaining speed still. Oh, now we're dropping a bit. Oh, the spend might not be good. We might be going too fast. Oh, we're good, I think. Taking all brakes off. I think we're good. I think that speed though of this corner of those would flip over, but I'd definitely be too fast. I wonder how fast this would actually get going here. We should be coming. A couple more little bends here and then we'll be not too bad. not 
slowing up too bad. Hope we get a, a yellow here. I can't get her stopped. I've almost got full brake on here, and she's not slowing down. Not much. Yeah, we're good now. Got a straight run here now. So. Oh, that picked up a bunch of speed all of a sudden. That was weird. What did, what did that mean? Oh, it's a tight turn. <laughs> We're good, though. Yeah, this is all mostly a straight run until we get to this corner here. Which, man, we're eating that track up fast. Oh, we got a bunch of turns. Why couldn't they just kind of go... Whoop. <laughs> oh, jeez, we are catching that other train. He's, like, right here. And we're, like, right here. <laughs> we're going too fast. Oh, that's... That's not good. Okay, let's get some dynamic on here. Oh, that's eating her up fast. Look at that go down, eh? Holy. That dynamic is awesome. That's all we need. Still going a little fast, but I'll probably end up catching this guy down here. I think we're going to maybe put some more dynamic on, just uh, maybe two or three. Just to keep her at a slow speed. I don't know what that guy's doing ahead of us, but hopefully he's doing at least, well, he's probably not doing much over 40, so we're still going to probably catch him. Hopefully slowness. Uh, yeah, she's she's jumping. She's jumping. Oh wow, that gained up a bunch more speed there. Uh. Oh, I I dar uh, that ended our mission, I guess. Well, I think I'm actually gonna cut it off there because we played that a lot today, but ah. Uh. I was going too fast, I guess, and I went past the signal because it's trying to keep us separated, I guess. The train ahead of us and me. Oh, I, I was sick into that, too, and I'm like, oh, i got to slow this down more. And I didn't, so. Anyways, I guess that's it for Train Sim today, but thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I hate these signal failure things. That's why I like the ones where you can just go and drive it, you know? You can't really do that in here, so. But anyways, thanks again for watching. Catch you all later. Have a good day.